Epic. There's gonna be sunrise, sunrise. I know there's gonna be. How's it, guys? How's it, guys? Today's Sunny's birthday, so we're hiking Tabor Mountain. <laughs> Get in the car and sing happy birthday for Sunny. <laughs> Which way, Sonia? Up. <laughs> That's the goal over there. Paddock Club Gorge is our team. Part two, part one. How's it going there, Sonia? Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. What a wonderful phrase. I like that boulder, that's a nice boulder. But the view of the city, the sun is now up. It's about eight o'clock, we've got the city ball there. Here's the path that we came down, it goes winds all the way down there and that's the road that we started on. We started around there. We're almost at the top. Ah, we pretty much made it. Where's that beacon? We made it. Cause we are here. We are here. I'm not fit guys. So. And the lion's head hike the other day was all right because we were going at a pretty slow pace. Oh, awesome. Cloud banks over the Atlantic. Yeah, oh, I'm really not, not fit at all. And I think the lion's head hike probably did damage to me for this one because my legs are hurting. Somebody call Barclays because there's a cloud bank moving in on their territory. What? Did you hear that joke? Do your chain hang low, do it wobble to and fro. Can you tie it in a no? Can you tie it in a bow? Yeah, clouds and mountains. Okay, the first cable car has officially come up. Tourists everywhere. Welcome to Cape Town. Please keep all hands and feet inside the mountain at all times. Devil's Peak, McClear's Beacon, Cape Town. Getting a little coffee, a coffee. I won't lie, I am tempted by this pizza slice though. Coffee on top. Okay, we're about to get the cable car down because hiking up and down is real shit on the knees. Call yourself a mountain, it's nothing. Look down upon you. Stand clear, moving doors. <laughs> no, you're supposed to. Lion's head, follow me. Making a bit of brekkie, got some eggs on toast. That was perfect timing. Had a shower and just about to get down to editing. But first, we've got washing up to do. Isn't that right? Responsible stay at home brothers and boyfriends. I'm still at home, I'm uploading the vlog. It's taking longer than, than expected. Oh shit, um, I don't know much. I'm running late here. Okay, well start without me. Um, no, I won't start without you. Okay, see you in a bit. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, I've teleported to my house. I'm here with big man Z. <laughs> Two things, we don't call him big man Z and in South Africa we don't say Z either, we say Z. Would you like to let everyone know how, how to pronounce your name? Which one? So his name is Zbigniew. That's correct. But in Poland, the nickname is Zbyszek. <laughs> I don't know. Then again, in English you do get Richard and, and Dick. <laughs> we are cooking stuff for Sonia's birthday. What we are doing is we are making bread. My dad's classic, just homemade bread. Yes. Okay, what do we use? I normally mix white bread flour with uh, cake flour. There's also brown bread. Brown bread, wheat flour. That's okay, so what's your ratio? Those bags are about two and a half kilograms. Uh -huh. So if I use just one flour, then I normally have got around two kilograms of flour. Okay. I'm going to mix three. You're mixing the three. Three of them. So roughly 660 grams of each? No, the brown flour, I would yeah. use a little bit less. Less of the brown flour, okay. And then here we have four packets of yeast. Instant. But yep. this is instant yeast for bread. Don't confuse it with brewer's yeast. Each of those packets has 10 grams. So we are doing roughly two kilos of flour and then 40 grams of instant yeast. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen yeast up close. But look, it almost looks like vermicelli or like animal droppings, you know, your choice. What droppings? The last dry ingredient is salt. So. Amount, 
that much. Well, uh, my hands are double the size of Donald's. Double the size of Donald's. That's so a good just, standard just, just measurement. Have, a, have yeah. an idea of. <laughs> you want all the ingredients nicely incorporated. Yeah, yeah. You want the yeast mixed in. That's the main thing that's happening yeah, here. That's hey? And salt, of course. And the salt, yeah. Putting warm water in here. Hey? Ah, that's a thermometer. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's about 40 degrees. And the reason that you want warm water is because it needs to activate the yeast. Ah. Hey? And then you just stir that in. Yeah, not too hot. Thanks for the tip on. <laughs> and now you mix. Now you mix. Okay, so how do we know that it's ready? It's coming off the edges, you know? Coming off the edges. If you look at the consistency of it, it's very, very heavy. If it's too runny, then it will rise too high. Now, forms. Now, forms. So, with this bread, we do not let it proof. I know, I was... Yeah. It's under 10 minutes, eh? Under 10 minutes. It goes straight from here into the forms. Have these been sprayed? No, I'm going to spray them up. Okay. Spray and cook. Spray and cook. In theory, you could use anything to kind of just grease it, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now it goes into the forms. This bread is going to come out nice and crusty. So like a nice hard crust, but soft in the center. Now it's about what? Half? Just above half, eh? Huh? Where the spill and just... Make it even in a... Hi. Girl. How's it? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, guys. Thank you. We're cooking. <laughs> We're cooking. I'm so happy. It reminds me. <laughs> you it was a saying in Polish, you know, that the shit stuck to, to, to a vessel and, and said we are sailing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. Shy. Okay. Cool. I get it. I get it. And you, you're vlogging, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Into the oven they go. Bish, bash, bosh. I'm helping. sailing, <laughs> I'm sailing. From cold. To 70 degrees. To 70 degrees Celsius. 70 degrees Celsius. That's correct. On a thermofan. And we're gonna leave it for about? Until it comes up. Until it comes up, you which is gonna be it. about. Okay, but so you gotta watch it. But. Check, 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 it's five o'clock. We'll find out how long. So we're baking the bread and then we're also making pierogi. I'll show you guys another time. My dad and I will cook pierogi together, but otherwise I think this vlog is already pretty long. So we're just gonna do the bread today and we'll save this for another exclusive cooking with dad episode. It's risen slightly. What's that, 12 and a half minutes. You think it's ready? What do you mean ready? I mean, it's ready to, to nuke it. Oh, so we basically proofing it in the I don't oven. I want it to overflow. No, I got you. I got you. But so we're proofing it in the oven. That's why we're doing it at 70. Okay. Yeah. We are getting it up to a height so that you're kind of happy with it and you don't want that big one to overflow. It's still going up a bit. So, yeah, so it's still going up. So now we're going to nuke it. 200. 200. And 25. 225. And that has been after. 20 minutes, just just less than 20 minutes. When you decide to nuke it, it's gonna be dependent on the size of your containers and obviously just everything. So once you kind of nuke it, it stops rising. That's the trick. Okay, so it's still risen some more after yes. that. That, that. That was on for about 10 minutes. Well, yeah, 10 minutes. And I'm reducing the temperature now to 190. Okay, so now it goes from 225 to 190. So but now it's baking. Then now it's baking. Okay. It's been pretty much an hour, hey, since yeah. actually baking. We're doing the glass test. The glass test, which is, you open it, you stick your face over it. Okay, they're still steamed up, which mm. means it's not ready. Not ready. The glass test, how it works is, effectively it's probably to do with the moisture in the air, a ratio of moisture in the air. And so when there's not enough moisture to steam up your glasses, it means all the water has been cooked out of the bread and it's ready. Science, hey? Yes, that's it. It's a knock test now. A knock test? Yeah? No. No? Not ready. I called it. See? I'm a professional. <laughs> We're sailing. <laughs> Glasses test. Let's go. And above it. Oh, that looks... I mean... <laughs> knock test. Knock test. Who is it? Yeah. It's ready. <laughs> it's me, right? <laughs> Yes. That's no, good. From it's the good. side. Okay. And now flip. And you ready? And yoppa. My aunt uh, on the farm Yeah. used to make bread like that too. But she, she was making big square ones. And when they demolished, <laughs> yeah. they, they kept the old oven. When they built a new house, they kept just a chimney and an oven. 
and she was making a lot of breads at the same time because yeah. it keeps fresh. She knew that I loved the bread and whenever my cousins came to dance, they always brought me a loaf. <laughs> nice. Champagne? Was well, it a special occasion or something? Happy birthday to you. Okay, so we took the third one out. Did get a little bit burnt on top, but... I like it that way. He likes it that way, exactly. They never sent me to buy bread when I was growing up. Oh yeah? Because they say I always bought the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I don't know, where is it you take it off? Beautiful. I mean, Matt will probably dub it, but <laughs> I don't know. Written don't ever. Know I've got a copy. A copy of it. So, can I ask you a favor? Would you mind just saying, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for. Could you, would you mind saying it again? I just want to get the audio for doing a video. The whole thing. Just to be like, thank you for. Like, what you said now? What you said now?